Hello, welcome back to Grey Lion Gaming. In this episode, uh, I'm going to try and get Peacekeeper leveled up a bit further because I do need to get him to max trade level, but my reputation isn't high enough with him just yet. So <clears throat> I'm start off in reserve and try and locate the rest of these vehicles he wants us to locate and then possibly head to Streets of Tarkov to try and find this last uh, striker as well. Uh, so that's the plan for this one. I just wanted to uh, apologise for the lack of content recently. I've been busy with work and also I feel like my last video, the Dreaded Lighthouse one, was a little bit lazy to be fair. I do apologise. I um, wanted to get a video out there for you but it probably will not the best content. So hopefully in this one we get some good content for you that you deserve. So I'll load up my PMC and I'll join you as we load back into the raid. Okay, so, yeah, oh, I was hoping that was one of the vehicles we needed to uh, investigate, but it's not. Oh, sounds like there's a bit of action out here already. Really know where the PMC spawn on here. Yeah. Give it a bit of a wide berth. Is that something we need to find? I imagine it's, I'm going to say more the American style vehicles that we need to find, but might as well just double check. I'm not sure if that's one. Maybe do with a map, really. We have got other quests we can do. I think we've still got the one for Skier where we need to kill Scavs in the underground warehouse, so... Maybe go over there and do that. We don't get swarmed by too many PMCs and Scavs. It's one of my only real gripes at the minute about PVE is because you're on your own it seems like it's just the entire map versus you sometimes rather than PMCs I spoke too soon PMCs fighting each other and fighting scavs which to be fair they are doing by the sounds of it now but don't always do that and it seems that if you're near a bunch of scavs and PMCs they'll just stop what they're doing and just focus on you rather than carry on fighting each other do with taking that really but be a bit heavy for now One of those, yeah. This, uh, it's been playing PVE. Thought I heard somebody then, but it's just that bag closing. I'm trying to think of the best way to get over to the warehouse without getting blasted in the process. Blue eye usually spawned in there. Hmm. There's that building we could maybe go into and get down into the warehouse, but I think all these areas are fairly dangerous to cross, really. Um. Hang on, let's we'll go around the outside of the map. We might find some more of the vehicles we need to mark. I'm sure we do need to mark fuel supplies for 
ragman as well, so we might as well do that while we're here. Don't know if there's two lots he wants us to do, but just wait for that to thing and see if we can plant them all. Ah no, right, so there must be some more somewhere else. Trying to think where a logical place for fuel might be, maybe in the far corner. So I have been killed round here by PMC before, so oh, it sounds like there's some in here now. Where he is, I don't know. Oh, was that Blue Hars M1? Hmm. Oh, that was close. Speaking this angle is very stupid, I know, but. Yeah, that was very stupid. Let's get in here. Be wary of the EMCs. Maybe try to get up to the roof. We're going to get shot through the window here, aren't we? If that was a PMC or a guard shooting at me. Red tracers usually indicate either BT rounds or M856A1. Oh, he was over there somewhere. Guaranteed he'll see me before I see him. That moved. Might have actually started to push me. So if you could see me, then we'd would have probably known about it. Oh, it's not usually open. Where are you? There he is. What's going on down there? And that's blue hair. Weird. How far has that gone? Well, I take advantage of that <laughs> sometimes. Just try and throw another grenade. I don't think you can throw it far enough, to be honest. No, 
Glue. Glue her. <clears throat> that was probably the easiest <laughs> glue car kill I'm ever going to get. But you can't pass up them opportunities, can you? I only brought two grenades. That's a bit of a pain. It's going to take ages to load. So that sounds like a PMC, which. and a scav, or a guard, which is odd because they should be fighting each other, really, but they're not. Oh, unless they are. I'm not sure why Gluka and his mates got bugged out on that door, but... I'm, not de I'm definitely not going to pass up an opportunity like that to get an easy kill on him. <clears throat> the only problem we've got now is... Inside a map, we'll know we're here now. So we'll get this loaded. You've been patient enough uh, watching me load the uh, last bits of it. I think they might have come in the building now. Oh no. Another guard, I think. Stop. Don't know if I'm actually hitting him there. Permitting the body in front of him. Oh no, we were hitting him. That's very strange. <clears throat> it's concerned as to where the PMCs are and the other guards. I'm tempted to get over there though. Oh, this could. Ah, well. I was say this could kill us, but. No point staying here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we might as well go for it. Stay the door. Shot. Right, the sound in here is a dodgy, so that did sound like it was on here, but it's probably right downstairs. Need to be careful. Further down. I had this last time, I think, this bug where I just kept opening and closing the door. I think it's down there. Yeah, it's here, look.
top this one up again. Sorry about this, everyone. It's like mag. <laughs> mag top up simulator. Just check what this scav's got on him, I think. And he got a Toz, but he had 148, so I wonder if he has some decent stuff. Not really. I'm not taking that because it's just a quest gear, I think. Whoa, how many times does he want to get shot in the face and not die? Oh, in fact, I could do with his respirator for a quest. Need that. So if you let me heal. Come on. Start getting swarmed now. But one, all I want to do is search glue high. Another scout. Right, pop that in. Hopefully he's got some meds on him. <clears throat> Fact. It'd be best to pop this. Right, Check it wide. So they are usually PMCs. In this building. You are going down as all this shit. Uh, I'll just see if they're on this level. Yeah, they're up stairs a bit more. <clears throat> around it. Oh. Oh, don't know where I'm getting shot from there. We're going to have to clear the entire... Uh, oh dear. It's PMC. Okay. Nice spotted him through the two walls. But he did. Where is he? I've gone blind, I can't see him. Maybe gone in that way. All I want to do... Search glue air. Will they let me do that? Probably not. If I killed him or not. Nope. That's a PMC shooting me through a billboard. Need 
Really time just to fix my armor. Don't think we're going to have a chance to search Gluka. Which is a shame. Broken leg here. Not sure if he's in here. Sounds like he is. So I don't know if that was. Well, that's not me. All his grenades. Do with some food, really, and water. This is probably a terrible idea. I did see him. I hope he pushes me. How long we got left? 18 minutes. We're doing alright. It sounds like he's down here somewhere. Oh, he's there, look. Yep, I've uh, definitely gone blind. I think sometimes when you're trying to <laughs> look for people almost too much, you miss them. Any food and drink on him. No, but he's got some useful stuff for once. We should take one of them guns actually. Running a bit low on ammo. Use these as backups. Let's see if we can get lucky with this grenade. That guy was just over there, wasn't it? Should get him. If it didn't, there's something wrong. Nope, he's there. Look. I also didn't get him. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know if that was a scav or a PMC, I'm not sure. Hmm, huh, don't know where we got this guy. This is the problem with 
the guards, if that was a guard, why aren't the PMCs that were also in that area fighting him? And if it weren't a guard, why weren't he fighting the scavs that were just over the other side of the helicopter? So I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, I, I should have maybe just cut my losses there and got out, but we'll uh, we'll load up again and we'll go back into reserve, I think. and try, We'll focus more on marking the vehicles this time, I think. Okay, so after that, what I think could have been uh, avoided death, I shouldn't have really been peeking like I was where I was. So, a bit of a different approach. So I've got a different kind of kit. Not brought a backpack in. Keep me a bit lighter. So we'll start down here. So this is the underground warehouse area that we need to kill scavs. But, I don't think... I've seen a single scav down here in the whole time I've been on reserve, so it might take a while. Oh, spoke too soon. Well, that's one. I think we need to get 10 or 15. Let's just double check. Hopefully, all the scavs' super senses will sense that he's been killed now and uh, they'll just all come down here which one was it? Uh, safe corridor so 10, need 10 and also I'm going to have a look for the fuel for Ragman as well doing some research I uh, realise I don't think we can complete the revision quest anyway at the moment because uh, one of the vehicles is locked behind the door and we haven't got a key for it, so. Still be full. Yep. Around there will count. Uh, so, fuel. And where the other one is. Maybe near the train station. Try that way. Step up that tiny step. Right, where? I wonder if they're near this bit. Looks like a similar area over there where we marked the first lot of fuel tank. Oh. This must be them. I thought they'd be red like the others. Nice. So we'll probably have to get out now yeah which is weird because with these mark marking things quests it seems odd that we would have to extract because we've marked them so he would surely know where they are without us getting out whether we survive or not they've been marked with a track like a marker so Right, ah, need a backpack really. I'm just gonna say we'll go and check the mark room down near D, not D2, but in the offices that way. Oh, 
Well, at least we've got one quest done. Not the one we intended to do. I wonder if that's... No, I don't think it is. I'd have already been near that in a previous raid, so... I think I do need to kill raiders actually as a quest. So yeah, let's head down to D2. I know we're kind of veering off the path a bit of what we set out to do, but sometimes you've got to adapt. So we'll take our usual route in, down the noisy stairway. Hopefully, let's just check. I can't think who the quest was for. I do need to kill raiders. Was it for Jaeger? Yeah, eliminate raiders. Six of them, so... We should hopefully be able to do that. The staff, as it seems, I think... The bunker area is actually the safest area on this map. Because everywhere seems to spawn unlimited scavs and PMCs and bosses, so. They all seem to know where I am. Oh, yeah, I just got shot at then. Keep running. I must remember as well in future to bring paracord because I've got a red rebel so I can get out up here as well if needs be rather than having to go all the way down to D2 every time. But we ain't got a backpack so we could go out by a sewer manhole. But I'm not 100% sure where that is. It's this end or the far end. So in the first raid, I know we died, but I will keep that raid in, because I thought we did alright. Apart from dying, obviously. And I do like to keep the raids I die in as well, because it's a bit unrealistic. If I only show you the raids I survive, everyone will think, oh, he's just really good at this, he survives every time. But anyone that plays Tarkov, or has played Tarkov for a while, knows that that is completely unrealistic. Can't survive every raid. I've seen a mag like that before. 9 by 39 Is that for an AS file? Is that that? Never really check up here, do I? <clears throat> Might as well have a look. So I'm in reserve. You'd expect to maybe find some more like military hardware, so... Power filter would be nice. Probably find something too big that we can't fit in here now. You need that. I'm not going to search the lockers. Uh, actually, it might be worth doing, because we do need a key, don't we, for some of the quests that we've been trying to do, so... We might find it in here. Oh, they're worth a bit of money.
Take them, we need them. Come on, give us a key. That we need, I should say. Because it'll probably just give us a key we've already got. Uh, we want to take that, really. Just leaving this free for obviously when we change our mag. So if you're wondering why I'm doing that. I should have brought a bag, really. Typical. But <laughs> the time I don't bring a bag, I'll start looting. Right, anyway. Task at hand, raiders. So... I'm not sure what will spawn the most. I don't know if it's turning on the power for D2 or when we open uh, or restore the power to the hermetic door. Maybe the hermetic door in it. So. But then that might spawn them on the surface, which only then adds to the carnage upstairs. So. At least down here, there's kind of control it a bit more. There's not many places to hide, and it's not as open down here, so... That was a raider, I don't think it was. Just a normal scav. This is the thing, I'm getting a bit complacent at the minute, I'm just feeling like I've just walked straight out here. Could have been raiders or whatever around here. I'm just walked straight out into it. A firing line, that, I think that's a raider. That first headshot must not have killed him. Ah, we need that. Let's see if one of these uh, scabs has got a backpack on him. Yeah, we need that for a quest called Dress to Kill for Ragman, where we have to hand over two cowboy hats and two Yushonkas. That's not a raider. I wonder if that other one was. Right, just before I turn the power on, I'll just check. Oh, no, it won't. Look like a raider. Probably sp spawn a couple, maybe. Yeah, sounds like raiders. Or PMCs. Must have been a raider. Yeah. Just got the one. I don't think so. I think you can hear one talking. Did he have a backpack on? Yeah, I think he did. Oh, 
I do like this uh, MDR. Is that another one? Yeah. Any more? Sound like it. Oh, we've also got a quest for Ragman to hand over war tech, is it? Yeah, war tech stuff, so we'll take that. It's got some pretty good, uh, it's not too damaged, so I might take that. Oh shit. Close. Just wonder what ammo he's got in that. It's PS, but I'll take the PS because I can make PP ammo now in my crafting station, so worth taking. Five rounder in that. Don't really need them grenades either. Uh, do I need that gun? It does look cool, and it's not really damaged, so we'll take it. Just did some movement then. M4 looks cool as well, if it's an M4 or is it an HK? M4. Uh, will I fit more in this bag? No, probably not actually. What did I want the bag for earlier? Can't remember now. Oh, the cowboy hat. This takedown might be. Oh shit. Is that a raider? Oh no, it was a. BMC. Right, hang on. What's. Ah, uh... oh, no, that's not going to make any difference, is it? Take that tape down. Get rid of the ease. Take that. Yeah, and slowly but surely we'll get these handed into Ragman as well.
So AVS no good. Uh oh. Might as well strip it down. We'll start to head towards the exit now. I was hoping maybe run into another couple of raiders. Like a PMC more than a raider though. Here. Put another grenade down there. So as I've come completely the wrong way to get out at D2. So you don't. They just spawned in. Ran completely past me. Oh, it looks like we've got. I think they maybe were PMCs. We've just killed. We we'll get a couple more grenades. This time we'll head the right way out. Let's get towards D2. Where is he? Good deal. Loads of them. But well, hopefully this is making for a bit more of an action, uh, exciting episode. Because I'll tell you, my art's going a bit. Right, let's... Ignore the scabs for now. Well, the scabs might have better loot, to be fair. I think these are definitely BMCs. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely time to leave. That raider. Certainly look like a raider. I don't know why he was doing a moonwalk to us. Just put this grenade over there, see if it was a raider. Mm, he didn't move. It is definitely time to leave though.
we grab a couple more grenades. While we're here. Someone creeping about. Wow. Tanky. There, Raiders. Go on, Steve. Oh, I can say, don't mess up now. Definitely look like a raider. I can quickly fix my arm before he pushes us. Bust my arm. Should be all right. Put another grenade out just to get a bit more info. Still down there. How many have we killed? We need one more. Uh, there is two of them. There he is. Say, so don't die now, Ben, for God's sake. Right then, time to leave. I think we've uh, outstayed our welcome here. Still a lot of people though, which is uh, always nice. Hopefully we can get out unscathed here. Yeah? Well, I'll let, I hope you've enjoyed this raid more than the first one, because I certainly have. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And any comments left below are more than welcome, and I do try and get back to as many as I can, if not all of them. Yeah, I do apologise. The last video, like I said, was maybe a bit lazy on my part, but this video should be a bit more entertaining. And at least we've got a couple of quests on as well, so that's always good. It's going to be a bit of a longer episode, I feel. Almost an hour, but that's not too bad. Right, we'll just we'll just head out, and uh, I'll get these quests handed back in. Seems we've got the silent door treatment again. Someone's obviously WD forwarded it up for us, which is good of him.
Exit located. Right, so not the quest we set out to do at the beginning of the video, but a good couple of quests done. Good amount of XP as well for that. We must have got, yeah, good amount of kills that time. As I mentioned, I do like the MDR, especially with the 762 variant. It's a, a good gun. Right, we'll get these quests handed in, and then I'll leave the episode there for today. But yeah, as I mentioned, hopefully that episode was a bit more exciting, a bit more action involved. I said the first raid, we pushed our look a bit too much and ended up like, paying the price. But that sometimes this game, all over a bit of risk reward. There we go. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.